look at a bunch of words that Americans use all the time that are Irish. We made them up. You took them from us. You can have them. We don't mind. But you, yeah, they're, you, we made them up. We made them up. He's Greek. I really enjoy things like looking at the origins of words for some reason. I just find it interesting. I hope you do too. Maybe that's why you're here. If you find it interesting too, perhaps you would like to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, an Irish curse will befall you. And that curse is you don't get to see the videos. Also, if you could like and comment, I'd appreciate it. Who knows, maybe I'll just do a live one day and you won't have your notifications on and I'll be giving away a car. I won't be giving away. Okay, the first word that you use in America all the time is the word phony. Actually, I totally thought this word was an American word because I don't find Irish people use it that much anymore. And the reason for that is because it actually comes from the old Irish, which is a different type of Irish than we would use today. It's kind of become extinct. The origin of the word comes from the name for ring, which was Fáinne. And the reason for the evolution is that it came down to an old party trick, basically where people would trick another person into thinking they had received a ring that was of good, valuable quality, good material, uh, a phony ring. The person basically being pranked thought they were getting a gilded brass ring, but essentially it was just a piece of old tin. So the phony ring became the phony ring and the word phony evolved from the idea that this was basically a trick or a lie, it was phony. Next up we have the word brat, which again is so seemingly American. I didn't know the word brat was Irish till I started looking up the origins of this list. So this one comes from the word brat with two T's again from Old Irish that has basically become extinct and it is the word for cloak. The funny thing about cloaks is basically that you like to go swish swish when you're wearing your cloak and people thought that this was mischievous, devilish and they basically started to call people who did this brats. Brats. It's pronounced the same way. I love it when Americans say brat. Such a brat. I think it's become a naughty thing too, so whatever you're into. The next word, I uh, we really love this one, is the word whiskey. So there is some contentiousness between the Irish and the Scottish if the whiskey origin was in Scotland or Ireland, but there is no question that the word whiskey comes from Ireland. Basically, it comes from the old Irish wishkebiaha, which means the water of life, which is quite fitting. And you could say that in Ireland today and people will still know exactly what you're talking about, wishkebiaha. It also accounts for the difference in the spelling between the Irish and Americans and the Scottish. So if you drink whiskey in Ireland or in America, there is an E added in there, whereas in Scotland, there is generally no E, unless they're just doing it for branding purposes, trying to seem more Irish. Oh, you Scots. We invented it. <laughs> the next word that seems super American, but is actually Irish, is the word Dork. And this actually comes from the word jarrick, meaning red in Irish. In modern Irish today, we would also still say red. And the reason we got the word dork from it is that a dork is a silly, goofy kind of person who might make you embarrassed, aka jarrick, red, embarrassed for them. And that's where dork came from. So you could just as easily say, oh, you big jarrick. I'm a bit of a jarrick myself. Dork. Up next we have the word slob, which is so American, but it's not. Nobody really uses the word slob in Ireland, so this one did take me by surprise. So a slab in Old Irish means mud. A slab is mud. You can see where they got slob from that mud. Yucky person, dirty person, slob. Notably, it does not come from the English word slobber or slobbery. That is a totally different word and it's Old English. There's actually no connection there, though you might think there would be. It comes from Irish. Next up, we have a word that seems so New York, I can't even. And as you know, New York has so many Irish descendants, it's not too hard to trace this one back. It's the word joint. Dude. No, not that kind of joint. Joint, as in a place, a joint. This comes from the Irish word jeantuck, meaning basically a penthouse or a safe place with a roof over. The word jeantuck implies shelter or protection, and that's why it has the homely word joint, which evolved from jeantuck. It's a safe place, a joint. No, not that kind of joint. Next is the word cop. Now, this one was very interesting to me because I know we always say cop on in Ireland. Would you ever cop on to yourself? That means basically get yourself together. 
grow up. And I always thought the word came from the English word for constable, like a shortening of that word cop, but it doesn't. It comes from an Irish one. The word cop is a direct translation of the word cap, which basically means to respect something. Actually, to be honest, the word cap has a few different meanings, so you could kind of attribute it to any one of these. It could mean a protector, a leader, a chief. It could mean to seize or to catch or to intercept or to grab or to put in custody. It has a lot of words, to be fair. It also could mean to think of something or to arrive at a notion, idea or suspicion. You have to bear in mind that the Irish language is short a lot of words for things, so it kind of recycles the same words over and over because it's an older language. As in, it was never really modernised, so we use one word for a lot of different things. But it makes sense when you put it together with cop, cop, cop on, cap. Next up we have the word galore, galore, cake galore, chocolate galore. Obviously galore means loads of and in Irish it comes from the term galore which means plenty of. Well directly it actually means till plenty but you get the idea. And finally the number one word I cannot believe is Irish and this hit me like a ton of bricks. It's actually quite rude but its origins are very innocent. It's the word... I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna say the shortened version of it. It's the word puss, which in Irish means lips or mouth. Are you blushing? She's blushing, You're right? You're totally blushing. blushing. Tends to describe a facial expression where the person is not happy, they have a puss on. Yeah, that one, you did it better. Anyway, it evolved into American slang for puss. Yeah. And you can kind of figure that one out of your stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, that's it for today's list. Let me know if any of those surprised you. There are a few that did surprise me. Over to Chewy for a couple of shadows. A lot of people have contributed to us on PayPal in the last two months. That's very kind. It means we can buy coffee for the snarky editor and also I can get treats. So thank you. Those people are Ricky, Echo, Christopher, James, Andy, Jonathan, Richard, Bayani, Kim, Kimberly, Robbie, Lawrence, Anton, Mandy, Kerry, Stephen, Keith, Amy, Todd, Adrian, Kenneth, Wayne, Daniel, Joanne, David, Michael, Conrad, Maureen and Dor with all the demonetization we've had lately, we really exceptionally appreciate you. Thank you. And that's it for today, the, the original word was the the original word was the name of a word for ring. The original word was the name Fania. Fania. The original word was the word. The original word was the word, which in turn which evolved into the word phony, which evolved into the word phony, and the, which evolved into the word phony. And the reason for this is that it would be the name of a ring that was what? And, and the reason for the evolution is it was called, and the reason for the evolution is it came down to an old party trick. And the reason for the evolution is that it came down, basically it comes from the old Irish wishka, basically it comes from the old Irish wishka, the reason we got the word dork, meaning like a goofy, silly person, is that basically Jarek, and the reason we used the word, and the reason we got the word dork, the word cop is a direct, the word cop is a direct, it mean, it could mean a protector, a leader, a chief, a, it could mean a protector, a leader, a chief, it could mean to see. You have to bear in mind, you have to bear in mind that Ireland, you have to bear in mind that Ireland doesn't have a lot of words for things. We recycle a lot of Irish, you have to bear in mind, well directly, well directly it actually means, 